good morning. I don't got no best sound today because y'all just gonna see them. My eyes are naturally tight. <laughs> so I don't even know why we trying to act like they be swole. This is how they look. Ha, not ha. In either case, we're going for our mile run. We're fitting these in a lot more this month because I have something I'm doing at the beginning of the month of November and I want to get in as much cardio as I possibly can. So, to avoid spending five days minimum at the gym doing um, my bike riding for like 45 minutes, I'm just gonna run and do my core exercises and uh, let that be it until, you know, this is all over. I did some really big shit this week. Um, Friday, I went to the court and filed those divorce papers, ladies and gents. It's been a long time coming for a multitude of reasons. I think everyone has to be ready not only does everybody has to be ready, but like, shit just be happening, bro. Like, life is occurring, right? And I was constantly finding out things about my marriage that I didn't know. And I needed time. I wanted to submit the papers in a good mood, you know? Not upset, not vengeful. And I was in a vengeful place for a minute not even in the sense of like me wanting to do something to him but just something happening <laughs> because it seemed like that it got the the bad end of the stick out of this entire situation and so i wanted my mind to be clear you know i would wanted the intent of why what how in what way in what mood I, i'm feeling to all play a part in ending a very large chapter of my life. I was in a relationship for just about 10 years, shy of about 10 years. And that was the longest relationship I'd ever been in. I had never, I'm not a committed person. If you knew me, if you know me from school, grade school, I was never that girl <laughs> in relationships. I didn't really care about that type of thing. So to get warped in a world, in a world, <laughs> because marriage is a whole world that you think you want but you're also very 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 scared to have and just not knowing what the fuck to do you know so being caught up in that and now ending that chapter of my life it's so monumental I've had a couple of days to kind of sit in it I've just stopped like screaming to the top of my lungs like ah. <laughs> I'm just so damn happy. This is something that like the procrastination Joyce Lynn did not want to get done, but she also was well aware that things ain't gonna pop off the way you wanted to in your personal life and in specifically your business until you cross that T and dot that I. And then end the sentence. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't just be doing shit just to do it. <laughs> when I did my last video, my intent was to go that Friday to go and get it done, but then finish finish my workout, was headed downtown, and didn't have my wallet. And so I said, okay, it just wasn't meant, right? We're not gonna get upset, we're not gonna get frustrated. We're gonna just take it as it comes. And the following Friday, I was able to get an air file. So your girl is officially done, single baby. I'm not going to say I'm ready to mingle because that's not the truth. But I'm single. And I'm happy for this spot. So let's just get comfortable back here again. Acclimated. You know, even though I've been getting acclimated for the past two, two years, just about. It's different now. It feels different because you know different. I think that's about it. We're going to see what this uh, run is intended to be. I don't even know where my other headphone is. So this run is going to be a silent run. I may just put my music on and put my phone in my fanny pack, but of course the music won't be nearby as loud as it typically is in my ears. And I don't really know why this is happening. We're gonna roll with the punches though. Maybe I need a silent run. Silent runs on a Sunday, it, all, it seems so spiritual and perfect. So we're not even gonna trip over me not being able to find another earphone. We're just gonna ride that fucking wave.
okay please be kind to yourself during this run breathe make sure that you stay on your toes as much as you can activate your your core so you are using it and it is keeping you steady as you run hands to your hips you know whatever your arms will do your legs will follow I'm trying to think of any of the other really good tips and i believe that's all my intent today is just to to enjoy the freedom and to really bask in another milestone so congratulations to me and congratulations to anybody else who's doing hard shit <laughs> hard shit every fucking day because it ain't easy but we do it with grace i'll be back at the end while i still stretch i'm really tight i'm gonna keep stretching and we'll be back to see what that mod looks like okay all right be good to yourself all right i'm gonna see you at the finish line okay bye two things before i ran or started running i knew that this is gonna be a hard run i heard it i heard this is about to be hard and i kind of got mad because damn can i just have you know a celebratory run but the irony of that is is that i'm reading a book called artist way and we have to do morning pages every day and that is three pages of just your thoughts when you wake up write it out because majority of the time your doubts and everything that you think will not work appears in your mind in the morning so as i'm writing this morning i'm talking to the younger joycelyn because i'm so critical everything has to be perfect or I think even if it is perfect, it's still criticized. And I'm the, crit I'm, I'm the critique. I'm the one that's going hard on myself. And I heard really, really, really clear this morning that, you know, sometimes you're just not supposed to. And I'll be wanting to be perfect every fucking day. <laughs> and in this run, it was just like, bro, you really should have just came and sat outside because I really, <clears throat> last night, or well, this morning, typically I, I really don't eat heavy or eat anything before I run, but I'm barely working with any food in my system. And so it just hurt. A normal mile that feels good at that half mile mark, I was like, oh, this hurt. And I actually ended it at like 12.05, my mile. But I walked, I walked, I walked in. I didn't even run in. Um, so it was kind of like, girl, you could have just did something else. But that was for me, a lesson taught, lesson learned. In either case, we're still gonna make this a beautiful Sunday. At least I came out here and did it. I don't really know what to tell any other perfectionist. Uh, I am trying to be a recovering one. Definitely got a book a schedule with my <laughs> meeting with my therapist because I've been going way too hard on being critical with myself. So um, for all of us who are doing that, try our best, try your best to be kind to yourself. And uh, sometimes you gotta write out the bullshit you're saying to yourself to realize how crazy it sounds with the way you're talking to yourself. And I say constantly, if I wouldn't talk to the people that I love the way that I talk to myself, then I probably just shouldn't be saying that shit to myself. So you guys be great, be excellent. Be kind to yourself, please, and be kind to someone else because you do not know what they are facing or going through. This this run with me was blah, but it's okay. We live to fight another day, and we'll be back this week with more running. Maybe sprints next. Maybe sprints. Giving a mile a break. Uh, I could burn more calories with sprints, so we'll work on that. We'll do that. And that's about it. I love y'all, suckers. Bye. Oh, like, comment, and subscribe. Duh. Bye.